So you shoot video, but you're ready to upgrade that kit lens. These are five of the best to get that crispy footage. So first up is the Sigma 17-50 f2.8 lens. What I really like about this is it's got a nice zoom range, constant aperture, and maybe one of the most important features for a good running gun lens is image stabilization. So as you can see, it makes a really nice handheld camera. So not only is it going to work really well for shots like this, on top of that, if you shoot tech videos, it's going to allow you to get that nice handheld movement on those product shots without having a shaky image. Lastly, it is a crap load cheaper than a Canon or a Nikon alternative, so it's gonna perform very similar, but for a fraction of the price. Next up at number two is the Tokina 11-16 f2.8 wide angle lens. And as you can see, this mofo is wide. Now, just like the Sigma, this also features constant aperture. So whether you're wide open at 11 or zoomed all the way into 16, you're gonna keep that f2.8. That's gonna help you maintain consistent exposure throughout your shot. This also pairs really nicely with a standard zoom in that 17 to 50 millimeter range. Just keep in mind though, it's not as sharp as Prime's and it's not made for full frame. So next up at number three is the Rokinon Cine 35 millimeter T1.5 Prime lens. And for those unfamiliar with what a Prime lens is, it's a lens with a fixed focal length, so you're not gonna get any zoom, but in turn, you're getting a much sharper image. Now what I love about this lens specifically is the 35 millimeter focal length, which is perfect for crop sensor cameras. I know a lot of you guys get a DSLR, and the first lens you run to outside of your stock lens is that 50 millimeter, which is a great lens, don't get me wrong, but for a crop sensor camera, you have to be really far away to get that shot. And with this, you can get it a little closer, but still get that nice crisp shot and that nice shallow depth of field. Another thing that I love about this lens is the declicked aperture, which is gonna get you really smooth control over your exposure. Now, the thought of a lens being completely manual might scare some of you out there at first, but once you start shooting with a prime and something all manual, you're gonna love it. So next up at number four is also a prime, and it's also from Rokinon. This is their 14 millimeter f2.8 lens. Now for me, there are two major selling points with this lens, one being the price, it's under 350 bucks, and two, if you shoot by yourself a lot, you can see I'm really close to the camera right now, so I can reach, change focus, look at my viewfinder, and I'm not gonna have to worry about getting up and jacking up my shot. So last up is what I like to call the tech YouTuber lens which is the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 art lens, and that's gonna get you prime-like sharpness and aperture, but with zoom. Now this guy gets you a really nice all-purpose focal range, but the key here is the constant f1.8 aperture, and that's gonna get you tremendous low-light performance and that ridiculous shallow depth of field. Or in other words, when your subject is nice and sharp and in focus, and the background is blurred to hell. What really ices the cake, though, is the minimum focus distance, and that's gonna allow you to get really, really close to your subject. Now, if there were any downsides to this lens, it would be the price point because it is without a doubt the most expensive on this list. But if you had $1,000 and could only pick one lens, I would probably steer you that way. On top of that, it comes in multiple mounts. So whether you shoot Canon or Nikon, you're covered. Just keep in mind though, it's geared for crop sensor cameras. So if you're shooting full frame, you're gonna wanna look elsewhere. Now for those curious, all graphics were courtesy of video blocks who specialize in stock footage, motion backgrounds, and After Effects templates. Plus they have a marketplace, so you guys that shoot video, you could submit your footage to be sold as stock footage and make 100% of the cash. You guys can check it out for free for seven days. Details are linked down below. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to smash that like button. It of course is appreciated, and in return you get a virtual high five at your face. If you guys have any questions, drop me a line down below or hit me up on Twitter at TLD today. Everything featured in this video is also linked in the description. This is Jonathan and I will see you guys later.